Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Now, first things first, happy International Women's Day, and this is what this clip is all about today. Giving thanks to those wonderful figures in all of our lives. Now, this life, I have certainly been blessed. I've been blessed with an amazing, amazing family, and certainly I have been blessed with amazing, monumental, inspiring, beautiful figures in my life of ladies, of my mum and my nan. Now, as much as I'd love to sit here and say I have a beautiful wife at the moment, unfortunately I don't, but she's out there, and for now all I can just say is stay hopeful that that is going to happen one day, and I give thanks for all of those wonderful things to come. But right now, on this International Women's Day, an amazing time just to take a moment, just to send appreciation to all those wonderful figures in our lives. Now, of course, very often we overlook just the small things which happen in our lives, but if we take them away, and often behind those small things which happen to make our lives so like clockwork and everything functions well and we get up from these bad situations and we continue to smile, we continue to keep facing each day with a smile, whether it be a good thing happening to you, whether it be a testing thing or something bad happening in your life. Probably a lot of people would say behind that is a very strong mum, and behind that possibly a grandmother or an aunt. For me, it's my amazing mum, who was my best friend, and my amazing dear Nan, who I sadly lost last year on the 31st of May. Now that truly breaks my heart, but I feel blessed that I have a heart full of cherished, treasured memories, and my Nan at the grand age of 95 years young, and taken far, far too soon in my opinion, is a beautiful, beautiful lady who's now sitting up in heaven watching down over me. Like she always said, when I was a very small child, my nan always used to say, I think the world of you, my love. And although I may never see you grow up, I'll always be with you and I'll always be looking down on you. So very often when I'm feeling down or I'm feeling sad, or I just can't cope or that my heart's breaking because she's not here, I often put my hands together and pray to the Lord above and ask for my nan. To hopefully have that sense of what I'm doing and to hopefully be happy with what I'm doing and to hopefully look down with a smile, which I know she is. Now, right from a very early age, my mum and I have an incredible strong bond from ever since I can remember. My mum has always been there. I see her every single day. I live in the family home. We have some incredible memories. We have had some amazing adventures. I have travelled to all different exotic destinations with my mum. On my 21st birthday, I was in uh, Mexico. On my 18th birthday, I was in the Dominican Republic. And I've had many, many amazing family holidays with my parents who I've been blessed with. And they've been at the centre of everything in my life. They really, really have been. I often say in this life that I've been blessed because it's almost like that I have two mums. My nan, who is my mum's mum, was very much like a mother to me as a... Nan doesn't necessarily cut it. She was almost like a third parent to me. She really, really was. I've been blessed with so many magical, magical memories, right from when I was a very early age, from things like having my first operation. My nan was there with my mum. To things going through schoolwork, going through studying, I remember my nan being there. I remember staying at my nan's every weekend, growing up and into my teenage years, and now I'm making sure that I would done my homework and getting me through difficult situations or if I had things on my mind. Yes, I had the blessing of my mum throughout the week to talk to and ask any question I possibly could, my mum and my dad, but my nan would also be there. And the questions in life sort of, how would you approach this girl who I want to take to the prom now? And I remember my nan talking to me about this and um, I've always loved singing. And I remember, uh, I remember showing my nan um, how I could sing and her being completely sort of shocked and stunned and all these wonderful, wonderful things to making career choices and telling my nan what I wanted to, to, to do with my life and where I wanted my career to take me and nan being part of that. So this life has truly been a blessing. My mum, every single day, it's whatever the day is, it sounds it sounds a little bit cheesy, but it's certainly not. My mum always makes the sun shine, to be honest, in every single day. Um, if I'm down, if I'm sad, or if I don't know what to do, or if I've come to a bit of a rock in the road in life, she always seems to bear her hand out and help me over that. And sometimes physically where I've had real, unfortunately over the last couple of years, I've had real not great health at all in several extensive operations, which have been really difficult to get over but my mum as well as my father but my mum has been there every step of the way to get me through that and I am back 
strong and these things testament to my mum and now these things in life make us stronger and they really do have a way of growing us and making us stronger through every step of the way and I've been fortunate I lost my nan last year and up until the age of 27 I had her in my life every step of the way from her holding me as a little baby to holding my hand um, to being a young man and um, me having the privilege of being beside her my whole life and actually being with her when she took her last breaths with my mum by us uh, with my mum also there so me having that blessing of sharing their bond and also right in my last uh, my nan's last moments of her life me holding my mum's hand and then my nan as well um so together it's always been a very very privileged privileged bond to be to be in front of my mum and my nan are like sisters best friends, mother and daughter, a very, very privileged, beautiful, beautiful bond. And always, for me, even just to be near that or to be part of that, very often I would think, wow, these two incredible people in my life. And they're me. They're, they're mine. They're mine and my mum. So International Women's Day for me is a fantastic time to commemorate all these wonderful memories, these cherished, treasured moments in history, is always going to be here in my heart with all of that and of course I still have the amazing blessing of my mum every single day and I take nothing for granted in this life especially the world we live in today I'm very sad that I don't have my nan but I'm privileged and I'm honoured to have had 95 years with her and well me 27 but my nan lived a very long life and I still say that she was taken far too young and my nan was very very young at heart my mum and my nan are very very glamorous ladies and if you if you, it's almost like every time they walk into a room, boom, there's a sun, there's a spotlight. That natural sort of glamour, that natural, don't even have to say anything because they would, would know what to do, what to say to make a situation right, to make a situation become sunny again, almost to bring the spirit back into the room of happiness and that understanding without even having to say anything. My mum and my nan would know. They know what's wrong. Of course, I don't have my nan now, but she's looking down over me and I know that she would know in all of my situations, in all of my rough times, am I good? Just as my mum does, I've only got to come out of my room in the morning and my mum knows before I've even said it. She knows if I'm down, she knows exactly what to do or to say when I'm feeling low, when I'm finding things difficult. It's a bond which is like no other. You cannot buy it. You cannot install it in anybody or anything. It's just there. And I've been blessed in this life to have that with two beautiful, beautiful flowers of life, you could say, amazing sunshine, rays of light, which I get the privilege and the honour to call my mum and my nan. International Women's Day means so much. And it's a fantastic time to take us time and to step back and just look and just view and give thanks and commemorate and celebrate these wonderful figures. Now I've said to you that I don't have a wife at the moment, but hopefully there will be a Mrs. Roderick or you never know. I say Mrs. Roderick. It could be the surname. I could go under her surname. I've often thought of that. Let's break the mold a little bit. But do you know what? I, I look for the day when I can actually have that bond for my own children in the future and to have that beautiful wife and um, that beautiful soul to be able to share life with and to step forward and one day on International Women's Day give thanks to a beautiful beautiful lady who, uh, who can who can make my life whole and we can have a wonderful wonderful family together and that's one of my dreams in this life and that's what I would love and I hope in years to come that's going to happen and yes and you know what on that note for me not wanting to go on too much longer because Everybody will have a different take on International Women's Day. It's fantastic how far this world has come that now we have all these wonderful figures in our life and in the real world, whether it be politics, whether it be on television, whether it be in government, whether it be Hollywood, whether it be films, whether it be journalism, whether it be the top figures in the world. There is a woman there. And how incredible is that? Well, I do not understand in this life that women were at one point not classed as equal. That is unthinkable. And often you can actually think that often sometimes women are stronger. There, I said it. And you know what? Sometimes I agree. When you look at different figures in this life, monumental woman figures in this life, 
I wouldn't disagree. I really, really wouldn't. This life is so privileged and special. Some of us, not so much. But you know what? In the darkest of times, I truly do believe there is light to be found and it makes us stronger. But now, in the world we live in, it is deeply concerning. It is deeply worrying what's happening all around us. Not just because of what we are hearing, but some of the sad things we hear. And you hear children losing their lives. You hear these awful these awful events happening where people have lost their life in this country and across the whole world. And you think to yourself, what does that mother feel? What does that grandmother feel? What does the parents, the people who are connected, but more so on Women's International on International Women's Day, think? Think. There's nothing which women cannot do. And I think sometimes, sadly, this world does not recognise that enough. And I think it's so important and so monumentous to take a time to actually express and acknowledge that these things still do happen. And there is a way to go in this world before we can stamp all of that out, that discrimination out, because unfortunately there are there are episodes of this still happening across the world and in industries and in different areas of the world and the globe too. So on that note, let's still work together. And if we see that, let's call it out as well, because it's absolutely rubbish to actually even bring that into into this life, this day and age. On that note, I'd like to say to you that take a moment and really express to the woman in your life how special and how much they mean to you. That could be your mum, that could be your nan, your aunt, that could be somebody like your mum, that hopefully is your wife, hopefully your girlfriend, your, your partner, whatever. Take a moment and express how special and how important they are. To me, it's my mum. To me, it's my nan. And to me, it's that future Mrs. Roderick who I give thanks for. If I've not even met, she's that special. <laughs> okay, so I wish you a very, very happy and a very momentous and just give thanks to those special figures in our life. A very happy International Women's Day. Couldn't hardly say it there, but a very, very happy International Women's Day. And what a great time to give thanks for such a special, special lady or special ladies or women in our life. To me, God bless Nan. And to you, my absolute cherished, cherished angel of a lady, my Nan, who I get to call, which is an absolute blessing. And I'm forever in shock that my Nan was my Nan, such a special, incredible lady. And right down on earth here is my beautiful, blessed mum, who is my best friend, as is my Nan. So I give thanks for those two special ladies today. So I wonder who you give thanks to. Why not leave me a comment down below? I'd absolutely love to receive that. And it would be really, really great to receive that. And I do my best to come back to you. OK, thank you very much indeed for sharing this clip with me. And until next time, I'll be bringing along something really great, hopefully real soon. But for now, just enjoy the day and give thanks for those special people in your life. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye now.